Hi there, Richard Mathru. Have you ever wondered what it takes to actually turn your home business around? It can be a bit of a struggle at first, right? I know it was for me. The number one question I get asked is, how did you go full time in your first five months when you didn't even make that quick a start? I've identified four key areas I want to share with you that I can definitely pinpoint that when I started implementing them, there's a significant improvement and allowed me to go full time in this industry. I'll be right back, so stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So everyone asks me that all the time. You know, you went full time in your first five months, Richard. How, how did you do that? You didn't have a list, didn't have a budget, you know, didn't have experience in this industry. So, so how did you manage to do that? And I've outlined four key areas I want to share with you. And you need to ask yourself, are these in your business? Because these four key areas are like the legs of a stool. Okay, you've got a, a leg in each corner of a stool. You sit on it. It's stable. It's comfortable. Now, if you remove one, you may be able to stay sat in that stool, but it's going to be awkward, harder than it needs to be. You're going to be wobbling around and it's going to be frustrating. If you remove a second leg, you're going to fall over. And this is the same with these four key areas. If you don't have all four, you're making it far harder than you need to be. It's up to you if you want to be stubborn. Remove any more than one, you're just not going to make it. I really don't see a way that you can. So number one, you've got to look at coaching. You've got to look at educating yourself and improving your skills in the sense of looking at products, in the sense of looking at maybe a mentor. You've got to have some way that you're improving your abilities on a daily basis. Why? Well, how else are you going to improve your results? Okay, think of any other area of life. If you want to learn how to be a plumber or electrician or an athlete or learn to read, learn to write, what do you need to do? You need someone else or some other information to show you who who can already do that. It's it's the only way. Otherwise, you're just going to, like telepathy, it's just going to come to you, right? Number two, system. In this industry, it matters what you and I can do, but what matters more? is what a lot of people can do and what you can help them. See, you need to be able to plug them into a system that is predictable and proven. And I'll give you an extra piece of information here. Be open-minded enough and be strong enough to actually outsource or leverage systems that actually perform tasks in your business better than you can. Think about that. Think about any entrepreneur, any large entrepreneur in any business, not just in home business. Do they do everything themselves? in their business? Do they clean the floors? Do they wash the windows? Do they deal with the legal department? Do they deal with the, the business, the accounts, the marketing, the strategy? Don't get so busy working in your business that you don't work on your business. That's a big, big deal. So many of you are trying to generate your own leads, train your own team members, recruit, you know, do everything, do the follow-up, you know, do the, do the online marketing and you just don't realize that there are systems out there that actually will perform a lot of the heavy lifting for you. It'd still be your hard work, but it would just be so much smarter to say, OK, you do this far better than me and it works. Other people are working with it, too. I'll take that and use it. And there's one particular system that I leverage. If that sounds would be interesting, I I'll let you know about that in a second. Number three, got these written down. Number three is a game plan. Once you have the knowledge and you have a system that's predictable with its results and will help do the heavy lifting for you, you need to be able to have a plan to how you're going to deliver that to people. What are your goals? How are you going to reach those goals? So you, if you don't have a goal or a target, how are you ever going to hit that? And it keeps you honest. It keeps you moving towards an, an honest and, and definite direction. And then number four, accountability. This can be in the form of a mentor or a community, ideally both. How do you expect to stay on track with all the flaws of human beings, you and I, if you don't have someone to say, hey, you know what? Come on now. You know, that's an excuse. Let's get you back on track. Let's get you to over here. Let's remember you said you agreed this was the goal. Now, is that the right way? What's the most valuable use of your time right now? You need someone to pull you up on your BS because life does get in the way. And we need to be honest with ourselves that none of us are perfect, me, you included. I need someone every now and again to say, Richard, uh -uh, that's not what we agreed. Come on, get back on track and a little bit of support. So I hope you got value from these tips. If you did, consider liking and sharing them around. If you want information on that system that I use that actually provides all of those four, coaching, community, accountability, and tools to build your business, the link you'll see is in the top corner on YouTube or clearly beneath this video. If you're listening on a podcast, I'll put it in the description. So I'm going to check out for now. I'll see you at 2 p.m. on Periscope. Go and create a day in life that counts. Always have more desires than excuses.